C++ is in some turmoil. Over the past few years, there, there's there been a little bit of pressure on developers to not use C++ in new projects because it is memory unsafe. So why would you use C++ or C for that matter when you can use Rust or Go? or even Swift. And as a result, C++ creator Bjorn Strawstrup calls for help to defend programming language from serious attacks. And those serious attacks, he's not talking about the vulnerabilities that are there when you write code with poor memory management. Out of bounds errors, buffer overflows, you know you've done it. Because these are serious attacks, they can be exploited. But what he's talking about is C++ being shunned by cybersecurity agencies and technical experts in recent years for its memory safety shortcomings, which is accurate government agencies as well as well as some of the you know biggest tech companies in the world microsoft is rewriting parts of windows in rust google has replaced c++ components in android with rust and even the linux kernel uh, in all this debacle has been flirting with the idea of including rust or maybe they already have but i will tell you something that's not in linux is c++ the linux kernel that is not distros. I blame the GNU compiler for failing to correctly reload data. Not really. I, I blame it because Linus Torvalds hates C++. He thinks it's bloated and overcomplicated. I wonder if he, he's thought about this ever since the whole Rust debacle. I don't know. But what's important is why these companies are switching to memory safe languages like Rust. And that is because, uh, well, Microsoft, 70% of all Windows security vulnerabilities were caused by memory safety issues in C and C++. That's why they're rewriting part of Windows in Rust. Google started using Rust for the same exact reason. They didn't replace everything, but they did rewrite very specific security specific components in Rust just so that they can avoid future memory related exploits. So no, Rust isn't replacing C++ everywhere, but where do we see it replacing C++ is when the security is a top concern. But here's the thing, C++ isn't inherently unsafe. You're just using it wrong. That's what Bjorn Strostrup said himself and I'm inclined to agree with them. If you know what you're doing with C or C++, then you can manually manage the memory pretty dang well. But if you don't know what you're doing, that's where problems can arise. So in order to solve this, Bjorn has introduced, or should I say proposed a new initiative, C++ profiles. Profiles would act as guidelines or safety modes within the language, enforcing stricter memory management practices. C++ profiles is still a proposal right now, so there's no strict details about it, but based on Bjorn's past work, it's likely that this would include things like um, restricting unsafe memory management. So things like enforcing smart pointers over raw pointers. It could also, include like banning or limiting certain language features, which I don't know if I like that, but th these are ones that would be explicit to what have caused memory issues in the past. But there may be a problem with that. And that is what makes C++ valuable in the first place? It's fast. So if you want to introduce something like runtime overhead or compiler restrictions, it could hurt the performance. And if you don't think it's fast, just remember that uh, your favorite game engines are built with this. High frequency trading programs and things of that nature are built with C++, it's fast. So this could hinder that. And the thing is C++ is used in low level development because it's very flexible. It allows developers to control every aspect of it. You can optimize it down to the byte level. So with C++ profiles, will you still be able to do that? And then what about the millions, at least, lines of C++ code that are, that are currently running in production, uh, just changing how the language works is not going to all of a sudden fix that. So you would still have to go into existing C++ code bases and implement these new rules. But here's the biggest issue with that is that um, just like C developers, C++ developers are stubborn. There's a reason why there's such a pushback against, you know, building new things with Rust or with Go that have memory safety guarantees built into the language. Are they really going to go back to the, these code bases and implement these new strict rules? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it would be easier to do that as opposed to rewriting these things in something like Rust because you're already familiar and maybe even an expert in C++. So really, I don't even know if they have much of a choice at that point. It's either, okay, make C++ actually memory safe by enforcing these strict coding rules or rewrite the whole thing in another language. You choose. But it's not just that C++ devs are stubborn. I mean, we're all stubborn in our own ways. Don't, don't be insulted by it. It's also the fact that uh, Rust and Go are not viable options or at least devs don't see them as viable options to replace everything that's written in C++. And then I've seen others that feel like, hey, we have already implemented things like sanitizers and static analysis and the, the, the uh, modern C++ idioms. The C++ existing practices and toolings 
are already good enough. Just like Bjorn said, you just gotta get better at it. And enforcing these new restrictions will make things more strict and more difficult. So that's how I see this going. C++ developers are gonna have to start implementing C++ profiles. Let's just hope that C++ profiles doesn't ruin the entire value prop of C++ that is being fast and flexible. Well, I guess it is gonna take away from some flexibility, but as long as performance is there, you know, you don't have to write, rewrite all of this mission critical code, all this NASA code, all of this C++ code that is probably even in your vehicles. And it's everywhere. You won't have to rewrite all of it in Rust or Go or what have you just to make it memory safe. This is a good alternative. So C++ is not dying. I've seen that headline in a few places. It is not dying. Is it slowly dying? It'll always be around. The issue arises in how many new code bases are going to be started with C++. That's where things can get tricky. And as a Java dev, I feel your pain. It's basically the same situation. But this isn't about Java, it's about C++. What do you think? You have any further thoughts? Disagree with anything I said here? Let me know, I'm curious.